Dooner was Vera's son. He had a motorcycle and a silk aviator scarf. Lily and Junebug liked him because he was tall and had a face like a movie star and used to sing songs and play the guitar. He sang songs about girls named Lurla Lou or Pitapat or just plain Mary. Once a week he would stand in front of the bathroom mirror and shave. He would watch his reflection and flex his muscles and smile, running his hand over his smooth chin. Dooner's father was the first Bob. His dad was once a famous singer, but now he sang in the Lizard Lounge in Cortland to an audience wearing lurid Saturday night suits, their dates knocking back glasses of drinks, swimming with chunks of canned, syrupy fruit. After he got off stage, part of his job was to sweep the floor of the colored plastic swizzle sticks and tiny purple paper umbrellas. Dooner lived in an apartment in downtown Cortland, and there he listened to rock and roll seven-inch records and wrote poems to a girl named Monica. Monica had red hair and long, skinny legs and painted beautiful pictures of butterflies and buttons and the man in the moon. One of her paintings, featuring an island in the bosom of the blue ocean covered in twining red roses, a Venus surfing in the foreground on a big, slimy shell, hung over Dooner's narrow bed.
The clothesline blew in the breeze and the skirts and brassieres and handkerchiefs fluttered like ghosts. Mudpup barked and chased the dark sleeve of a man's jacket which hung on the line. The moon began to rise and hung over the backyard like a silvery coin and looked down on Mudpup singing sweet songs. The night was sweetly scented with peony and pea blossom. Its shadows made it seem as if they were underwater. And night noises came from every direction. Quietly at first, and then louder, they heard crickets chirp and toads croak and the other noises that made each night a poem. They could hear moths unfolding their wings and the lights of fireflies flaring on and off to show where they hid in the rhododendrons. Dig it, man. Yeah, man, it's cool, Daddy O. Crazy.
have seen the greatest flies of my generation squashed for their lights on the sidewalks and kept in a mayonnaise jar jails. Flash broken lights gone out, all for the sake of some child's costume. She's on her way to the Five Pigs Ball. I've seen my brother's power zapped. In an instant, our powers as earthbound stars at the whim of any child's fingertips. But we do shine, yes, yes, we do shine. In all our glory as earthbound stars. And as long as the moon shines white every night. So shall my butt shine green, light my way to the firefly sea. <laughs> off the fireplace, 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 off the Here, kitty, puss skins. Oh, 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 oh,